Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw this soccer ball. Let's open a new document. First, we will create guides. Press the Ctrl and R keys on your keyboard to show the ruler. Now click in the corner where the two rulers come together, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press and hold down the Ctrl key as well. Hover your cursor over the center mark and then release the mouse. Now release the Ctrl key. Let's lock this layer and create a new layer. Set the stroke to none and the fill to light grey. Press the letter L to switch to the ellipse tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Click on this intersection, hold and drag to create a big circle. Let's lock this layer and create a new layer. Swap the fill and the stroke and be sure the stroke is on top. Let's change its color to black. With the ellipse tool still selected, click in the center and draw a circle that is a little smaller than the gray circle. Open the stroke panel and change the weight to about 8 points. Be sure the stroke is aligned to the center. Click away to deselect. Press the letter P for the pen tool or select it from the toolbar panel and then click in the center. Hold down the shift key and now click on this intersection to create a straight vertical line. Press the letter V to select the line. Now switch to the Rotate tool. Press and hold down the ALT key and when you see the small dots next to the cursor, click on this anchor point to set the rotation point. Type 72 into the angle window to divide the circle into 5 equal parts. You can also type 360 over 5 and then hit the tab key to get the same results. Now click copy and then press the Ctrl and D keys on your keyboard a few times to repeat the last step. Next we'll create these pentagons. Let's swap the fill and the stroke and bring the fill to the front. Select the polygon tool, click in the center, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the down arrow key on your keyboard to reduce the number of sides to 5. While you are still dragging your mouse, press and hold down the shift key as well to constrain. Let's create a copy of this shape and move it down. Click on the bottom of this bounding box and drag it up to create a distortion effect. Let's move it down so the two upper corners align with the black circle. Select the center pentagon shape and rotate it by 180 degrees. Select both black shapes and then go to Effect, Warp and choose Fish Eye. Set the bend value to about 24% and then click OK. With these two shapes still selected, go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. Select the center shape and then go to the Curvature tool. Click along this path to add an extra anchor point and now click on it, hold and drag to create a slight curve. Let's repeat this with the bottom shape. Be sure the black shape extends beyond the grey circle's boundary. Now we will create 4 more copies. With the bottom shape still selected, press the letter R for the Rotate tool and then click in the center to set the rotation point. 
leave the angle as it is and then click copy. Now press Ctrl D three times to repeat the last step. Let's duplicate the outer black shapes. First select them. Press the Ctrl and C keys on your keyboard to copy it and Ctrl F to paste it in front. Open the sublayers of layer 3 and you should see the copied shapes at the top. Scroll all the way down and unlock layer 2. Make sure it is selected. Now, using the left or down arrow key on your keyboard, move the gray circle a little bit away from the center. If needed, scale it down a bit so the black shapes extend beyond the gray circle. Click away to deselect. Press Ctrl A to select everything and then switch to the Shape Builder tool. Now press and hold down the ALT key to get the minus symbol next to the cursor and then delete all shapes that extend beyond the gray circle's boundary. Click away to deselect. Select the top black shapes and lock them. Next, select all lines and the black circle. Go to Object and choose Expand. Click OK. While you are holding down the Shift key, add all black shapes to this selection. Now go to Pathfinder and choose Unite. And we've created one compound path. Select everything again, go to the Shape Builder tool and change the fill to light grey. Now click on each grey area to create shapes. Click away to deselect. Select the black compound path and move it to the top just below the black shapes. Now open the sublayers of layer 2 and select the bottom grey compound path. If you like, move it to the side. Now press the delete key on your keyboard. We won't need this layer. Next, switch to the Selection tool and then click on the black compound path to select it. Double-click on it to isolate it from the rest. Select the Lasso tool and draw a closed path around the top anchor points of each outer pentagon and the center pentagon as well. Now press the letter A to show the corners. Click on one of the round corners widget and drag it up or down to adjust the radius. You can do the same by using corners from the top toolbar. Let's set the radius to 12 pixels. Click on this arrow a few times to exit the isolation mode. Next, we'll add a gradient. Select one of the light areas and then open the gradient window. Choose the white and black gradient. Let's add one color stop here and delete the black color stop. Drag this color stop to the right. Change the type to radial. Now adjust the gradient's direction. Select the eyedropper tool and get the color sample of the gradient we've created. Now press and hold down the ALT key and then click on each light area to apply the same color gradient. Switch to the selection tool. Select each light area one by one and adjust the gradient's direction.
Next, we'll add gradient to the black shapes. Unlock all black shapes, select the tab shape and then open the gradient panel. Apply the white and black gradient, change the type to radial, add one color stop here and delete the white color stop. Move this dark gray color stop to the end. Now adjust the gradient's direction. Select the eyedropper tool and apply the same color gradient to the other black shapes. Now adjust the gradient of each black shape individually. Let's turn off the layer with the guides. Finally, select everything and group it together. Let's scale it down. Next, we'll add a shadow. First, create a circle in the middle. Apply the white and black gradient. Change the type to radial. Reverse the gradient. And change the white color stop to black. Now set its opacity to zero. Adjust the tab slider and bring the tab side of the bounding box down. Now adjust the size and color. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.